Poop. Yo ho bro and welcome to the show again. We are back here on the Biffa Tech server. We're gonna start off with a few things that we have already accomplished. What button did I have to get back in order in the first person video? Fifth! I needed to press the fifth button. Down we go. So we've been working on a little bit of things. Mostly been working on Pulse's house. I've been really anxious to do some more of the steampunk design stuff that uh, I'm thinking I'm trying. Right now I just got a water trough, which is very much not steampunk. Anywho. The water comes over to here, finally got his wa water filtration system, comes down here, and it comes down into his house. We haven't done anything with the bedroom yet, but I presume that we are going to be. We now have a functional kitchen because of our stove. Stove has a glass in front on it, and uh, this stove has certain functions. Of course, it's got the heating elements on the top, the coils on the top. And it's got a steam blaster down below. How does the steam blaster work, you might ask? The steam blaster works because we're getting a bunch of steam down from mountain down below. How do we get steam? Steam is made by from boiling a bunch of water pretty quick. How do we boil a bunch of water pretty quick? We get some lava. So now here we have a bit of lava. It's a, you can walk on these rails here just to... Uh, uh, Make sure that we're safe and we don't touch on this lava. It comes through this trench, kind of like the water trough that we had up there. Except we have a water trough down here too. We're coming into one spot and we have a smoker. A, well, steamer smoker anyways. We have an element here that catches all the steam and pumps it straight into the oven up there. So it's kind of a steam oven. It's one cool thing. Anyways steam blast all the food that you need inside of that oven awesome going so the first thing that i want to work on that we need to build together is let's go to home hookah yes is now we need to start working on the drone pulse suggested that we should put in a steampunk drone for his place and of course if we're gonna add in a a drone a, a flying drone I think that's what he was looking for that type of drone I thought of a few different elements such as something like eh, maybe that mr. handy from fallout fallout that's the one thing where the guys has three different arms body or something like that it seemed okay but we're gonna go for a current day drone in a steampunk version so we need an area that is one block wide and we are going to attempt to make a steampunk drone on a single block element let's give this a shot so i'm going to just to emphasize the fact that it is metallic, we're going to be using the copper block, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner. When I press shift, it actually comes back to its normal size, so I know what block I'm actually using. Let's start making a drone. A drone normally has, and of course, I am on single bit, which doesn't help me in the least. Drone has four bladed doohickeys in order to fly and those bladed doohickeys if we are actually using a steampunk design is gonna have to be controlled by steam but let's first make our blade elements which should be little areas surrounded by casings the bladed elements surrounded by casing I think that's a good amount in order to just close everything off to make sure that the blades don't mess up on anything because it's going to be a very expensive little tool that we're going to be placing around i decided to make it a one block flying doohickey because i think that we should have more than one around here in order to just mm, kind of like the the towers the max max rider towers i mean you can never have too many eyes looking out on this land 
making sure that them skeletons right down there don't shoot us. There's one. He's Max watching that skeleton. You watch that skeleton, Max. Watch that skeleton good. So we got our base for our flight utilities, our little bladed doohickeys. Let's build these up a little bit more. So they're kind of like copper pipes, but of course we're in the Minecraft world, so everything's not really round. Ooh, and save on materials. I think I know what I can do. Uh, let's pump this up a little. One more, one more, one more, and one more. Make it a little bit rounder, and save on materials by cutting out the corners. We can do that. That sounds like a great idea. Make this a tidbit rounder. But of course, that doesn't change the inside and how big that is. But it's all in pretend and making things look pretty. Is it not? Is it not? Correct me if I am wrong. Most likely I'm wrong. Usually I am wrong. But we're not going to say that I'm wrong because I'm right. Connected material. No, we don't want connected material. We want drawn material. All right. So now we need our area that we are going to have the base body of our flight doohickey. We're going to put this down just like so. And that doesn't look quite right. Ah, that's why it doesn't look right. Because that corner was not taken out. Alright, now we can put this in. And now we have our body. And let's put some connected material. There we go. Awesome. And let's actually take out draw region. We're going to take out this bottom layer really quickly to thin it up a little bit. Awesome. There we go. And now we're actually going to take a different material. Let's take the shiny metal material right here. This one looks good. And we are going to make little connections in between these two guys. Make sure that these blades don't fly off in a weird direction. Of course, you have five different uh, bladed flyers. They just go off in their own direction willy-nilly. They need to be tied down. They need to actually have stability. They need to have a structure because they need to be tied to their parent home and then they can grow up and be on their own. For right now, they are in a loving family together as a drone. Let us make our little blades inside of here. Our little blades are going to be composed of not too much. We are going to actually make a... There we go. Cut that out. They are actually going to be just five pixels in the middle of these things. Of course, getting that center pixel is super difficult. And I think I'm doing quite a good job at doing that. Getting a little bit of lag here and there just from the just from the fact that I'm recording. Not doing anything else in the background, not re rendering anything right now. I know I need to be working on some animations for the main channel. If you haven't seen the newest animation, which is by far the strangest one with the horse, horse, your voice is a little horse song inside of it. Yes, I put the lyrics to that. No, it wasn't anybody else singing. That is why everybody is off key, because I believe I'm tone deaf. I tried actually playing the trumpet one time, but that didn't work out too well. Uh, I even have a tutor to help me try and figure out how to play the trumpet better. Didn't work out so well. So we stopped playing the trumpet, and now I don't play the trumpet anymore. But it was kind of fun while I had the chance. I really couldn't do marching band, because we were kind of a show band. We had a, quite a bit of a high step to our march. It made me kind of winded. Wasn't quite in shape that much. But yeah, we, our knees like came up to our chest whenever we marched, our marching band. That's how high our step was. It was quite 
exhausting. But I left the trumpet and then there we go. Now we have our blades inside of here. We now need a power source for our doohickey majigger. Let's see here. Block of iron. Ooh, let's see here. Let us get our pipe that we need. Actually, let's make it out of the copper and then this glass. Let's not use the block of iron. All right, this little guy is got to have some balance to it if it wants to fly at all, but it does need to have some exhaust for the pipes since it is steam powered. So all right, there we go. And let us put some white blocks mid air, white glass blocks representing the steam that is coming out of these pipes make these a little bit sporadic because steam itself is kind of sporadic when it comes out did not want to do it that way can I please get on top of this box thank you let's get rid of some of this and get rid of nope I didn't want to get rid of that and plop you in all right I think we have a steampunk drone I think this is fantastic. Ooh, ooh, that's right. We need a backup battery. I got this stuff because I thought, well, you can't really fit too much steam power inside of a small vessel like this. So we're going to need a backup power system. So we're actually going to make this kind of a magical steampunk. And we are going to add in a magical battery right here. All right, you see that glowing magical battery? It gives it kind of a little bit of a color too. Um, do I have any other colors that I could possibly have on me? No, I do not. Do not have any. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that would be so cool. Okay, the drone has a camera on it, and it has a water lens. It uses water as a lens for its camera. Oh, that is a cool idea. I love that. That is a fantastic idea. All right, now we have our pattern that we want. Let's erase this current pattern and let us grab this machine. All right, now use placement. See how many of the, these things that we can actually make. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, okay. We got an army of four drones so far. That is so cool. I love this. Mm, that, that. I want to grab that. Grab that. Grab that. And grab this. The original. Sweet. Now we have four steampunk drones for this area all right let's come over here and let us put one in here as though he were helping out with the excuse me the tasks around the base but of course his uh resting place is over here at hit at at uh, pulse's house there we go flying drone He's working on uh, making sure the uh, lens is kind of pointing this, and that the structure stability is working fine out here. Yes, that is that's what he's doing. Uh, let's scatter these guys around here somewhere. Of course, we can move them somewhere else. So, Pulse, if you have any other ideas of what we should do, um, got Max over here. So let us actually come over here. He is going to, and let us take him over to. Kondrick's place and we're actually gonna have him, this guy uh, help over at Kondrick's place uh, there's Kondrick we need to make a second layer eventually for his house so let us put him over here actually let's put some dirt down dirt and then put the drone right here and boop, boop. sweet okay this guy is helping out with figuring out the second layer that we need to have for Kondrick's place. The, oh, what am I thinking of? Laboratory, yes. Kondrick's laboratory. Didi, what are you doing? Okay, this way. I have two more drones that I need to place. Ooh, let's go to the top. I love going to the top just because it's fun to ride the wind. Let us ride the wind to victory. Of course I missed, so no victory for me. There we go. Half victory. 
Half victory because I halfway made it up. And then I had to work at it again. Okay. Have not made any more progress in the... What is this? Batania area. Um... Have not really had a want to do anything with the tech. Just having fun actually building a little doohickeys and thingamabobbers out of uh, chisel and bits because I like making things pretty. But we're going to have this guy as a lookout on top of the mountain. Which way are you facing? You're facing to the left, so let us... Uh, mostly everybody's looking to the left. Let's, let's have you face this direction. Perfect! Grab out these guys. Cool, we have another steampunk drone floating around there. And let us go over to that island over there. How do we get over to that island? Oh, I need to get an ender pearl. Let us fall down. Down to here. This is the... This is the trophy room. This is the room that we're looking for. We need to get ourselves an ender pearl. Pop and get you. Eat a burger on the way. Fast food joint. Rallies. Gotta eat, yo. Up. 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 Okay. We're all, we're all the way up here. Um. Do, 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 do. See if we can actually land this riding of the wind again. Good. Fall upwards. Falling up the rope. I think this rope is a fantastic idea. I love how this works. If you're inside of the block area of where this rope it of where this rope where this rope is, you climb up no matter what. It's kind of like a ladder. It's it's different, weird, kind of. Let's pop over there. Let's put a drone in this area. Pop you down and make sure that you're facing in the right direction face this way okay perfect all right now we have all four drones around here two towards the top oh yeah we have dragon star over there with his cannon his camouflaged cannon let us pop down to the bottom over here not the bottom uh main main floor and there is something else that i've changed around here is that i've actually fixed the water to flow down from the top i haven't i haven't gotten it from beyond this level i need to make another level where the water actually comes down through the entire mountain from the top lake but we do have the water finally flowing down into do 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 Okay, here we go. We have it flowing through the mountain, going to different levels and affecting certain things. So now we, we have the water kind of going through this little patch here. And yes, I have it so that I can actually walk through the channel of water, which is kind of funny. Um, and I can actually float all the way. You know what? Let's go ahead and go ahead and do that. Nobody else is going to do that. You're always going to see where the water is. You flow down here, and actually right here, you can see inside the kitchen. Hello! Uh, hello, kitchen! Hello, can I have some milk? No, no milk? Aria, help me, I'm drowning. Oh, I am drowning. Oh, okay, out. Okay, we're out. And then it comes down here, and then you can uh, flow through the net. Don't get caught in the net. Come all the way down here, and you actually end up in the first level tech. Uh, no, this is second level tech. Yeah, this is second level tech. And come through here, and the water comes... Where's... What's the next level? Oh, yeah, the garden! Oh, yeah! It's watering the garden, and then you go down further, and then it's go watering this garden down here, and then you go down further... And then it's just exiting down here. And then the water goes into... I don't think I made it so that I could actually walk through that water. But we can see it very nicely. We can come down here. And we are now at the boat. Down to water level. Woohoo! So everything goes from the mountain all the way down. I think that's fan super tastic. Alrighty! There is one other thing that I want to work on with you guys is that I have finally figured out a good way to... Ooh, let's put away this pattern because we need another 
We need, oh, I love, I love hitting, hitting shift and seeing all of these patterns just show up. Oh, that is so cool. We got Max Harder's Tower, the drone, everybody that we've created, even the template things, spider, creeper, floor. Uh, we need to make a light source. What we are going to do, uh, let's grab, actually, let us put away all of these blocks and let me show you how I actually put these blocks away I'm not sure if I showed you I might have but we're gonna go through it anyways I want to get rid of a bunch of stuff that's inside of my my bit bag and the best way to do that is to <laughs> honestly just chuck it out the window is to gather all the bits together and the quickest way to do that is to make sure that you have all the bits in one place because right here this this block that I just created is like I don't know like 200 and some pixels and that takes up like four four spots on my bar and I would have to go into this this bar and click drag drop because I can't hit Q and drop 64 of them it, it's just impractical so you gather them all up in one place make sure it's a half slab BAM all of them from all the bags everywhere down Ooh, that one this one's this one's pointless oh you're a metal block let us get rid of you come on break for me there we go break toss good uh wood don't need it block of iron don't need it block of iron don't need it okay uh let's just drop these get these out of our bags because we're not gonna be I'll just fiddle around with actually getting rid of or saving some of these blocks later. Is that a full block? Huh. I guess I had two blocks of copper on me. Because I've been using that a lot. Ooh, uh, lava, lava doesn't work like that. Lava is weirder. Or water, water blocks are weirder. Ooh, stone. Perfect. That's exactly the block that I wanted. Come over here. Put down the stone. And I need buckets of lava. Let's grab a stack of these and let's actually go to the nether. Uh, warp. Nether. Alright, alright. Heading on. Uh, hold on. Just had to make sure that I was still recording in my voice. Make sure that everything was perfect with all of my connections. I found out the best way that I could possibly make a light source. And lava is it. The thing that I had for Gavin's place, that hidden light source, is a fantastic idea so fantastic that I've thought of a way that I could implement it into blocks quicker because I cut out a hole inside of one of the stone blocks and it, it, it kind of went like this I, in order to actually get the pattern that I want I'm gonna have to show you how I did it before uh, in order to get the get the amount of actually let's let's get rid of this guy we are gonna take this into a dark spot what is a good dark spot is it getting dark out yes it is sweet we can just head on down and into the ow of course I had to miss it's been a while since I dropped from that height we need a dark spot so that we can actually see what we are doing with the light levels Hop over here before the mobs come around. Alright, sweet. Let us pop down the stone. Yes, the pattern that I had before is basically I would draw region. I would cut out a lip of this. And then I would have to, let's see your connected material, go down a few bits in order to make sure that it was inlaid at least one pixel beneath what I wanted. So what I can do is I can, uh, and this is why I need to come out here, connect the material, is put down the lava, 
down the lava. Okay. Good. All right. Two layers of one inset pixel lava is the amount of stuff we need. Same material. Get rid of the stone. Perfect. I forgot the pattern. Oh, but not to worry. I think, no. Yep. Yep, I gotta worry. Gosh dang it. Oh, ooh, ooh. Better yet. Okay, home puka. That was a good test of the light levels, but we can do it here too. We can do the draw region of one layer of pixel. And let us do connect the material, plop it down twice, and then draw region. Cut out the bottom layer. Sweet. Perfect. Because I forgot to get myself the pattern. We're going to need a lot more lava than that. Let's get, take all the lavas. All the lavas in the world. Lavas. Uh, pattern. Pattern, 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 pattern. I want to save that pattern. Oh my gosh, all these patterns I want to save. Let's make a new pattern. Let's grab a lapis. We need water and paper. Paper, I think, is down here. Do I have a piece of paper? Sweet. Good. Now I need a water bucket. I like how I just backed up without even looking where I was going. I am that good. Grab a bucket of water. Okay. Plop down. Water. Lapis. Paper. Done. Bam. Got ourselves a pattern. Let us grab our lava. Sweet. Now we have our lava that we want, but we want to set it to impose. This, uh, there's different little things that you can do with the pattern. We can do an additive, which is uh, what I tend to do with this pattern over here that I have of, as you can see in my right hand, there it's kind of a crisscross. And this crisscross I put down at certain junctions underneath the structure in order to make it look like it has a better structure. So I add in a few more blocks of wood. That's what additive does. Um, and I don't have to cut anything out. Let, oop. I need alt. Nope. Yep. Yeah, alt. There we go. Uh, replace replace does everything including air air blocks so if I were to take out this entire block that it, it takes out the air blocks too so why does that not glow hello why do you not glow that kind of concerns me a little do you not glow ooh ooh Ooh, hello. Am I destroying this? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, it does glow. For some reason, I thought it didn't glow. But anywho's, I'm going to do that with that there. It replaces even with the air blocks. Additive. No, I already said additive. Uh, placement. Of course, you've seen placement where it just places on top of. And this is the one where you can hit down, hold down shift and place in weird corners or something like that you can't really you cannot not you can't really you cannot do it with additive you can't do it with replace and you can't do it with with impose and impose is actually the one where we want where it replaces the items inside there with only the items that we have forgetting about the air blocks bam we have light source and this will make it so that I can get rid of these glow balls that are around here. But that's not the main reason that we have this. We're going to go into spawn and we are going to get those uh, torches out of the way. We're going to uh, get rid of all those torches. We're going to just have a uh, better looking spawn area so let us head over to spawn ba -ba -da -ba. pull out is this the right one no i already have this pet i have the other pattern that i did not want and this should pop off oh it doesn't screw you okay 
So, I can just do an additive to all of these blocks. I'll have, and it'll just replace the torches here. Sweet. And everything will stay just as lit, and we'll get rid of all of these torches. Oh, that is so much better! Oh, look at that! It's all lit up, and no torches! Yeah! So this didn't, shouldn't take me too long. Um, so that is what we're going to add to the Christmassy area. I'm thinking about next time adding in... Hello? Why you no... Why you no do that? Hello? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I know what's happening. Am I out of lava already? How much lava do I have? Do, 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 do. I think I'm out of lava. Am I already out of lava? No, I can't be out of lava. How am I out of lava? Where's my second bag? Oh, no. Oh, no! Home polka. Is there a bunch of... No? Hmm. Let's dump in... Actually, you know what? Let's take this with us. Let us grab all the... Yeah, I'm out of lava blocks. That's a problem with the impose. That's a real problem with the impose. Is the fact that... I won't know if it replaced the lava. I have to have on F7 in order to make sure that the... That the pattern there we go okay let us put down this guy right here and let's fill this up with lava sweet all right grab all this until we see another oh man where's my other bag i swear oh there's my other bag hey there's nothing in that bag Let's go ahead and destroy all the buckets that we can until this bag is completely filled up. <laughs> that's not how you do that, Puka. Awesome. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, that's why I wasn't getting any light levels. Do, 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 do. All the bits. All the bits are mine. There we go. And actually, let's go ahead and put our second bag on the bar so that way we know when we are out of lava. So, impose, take out this, impose, yes. So what I want to do next time for the Christmassy area is that I want to put in some... Actually, yeah, let's come in here. Uh, take out this concrete. Yeah, this is sweet. He got these that are just concrete. Then we can take out the torches. I don't think I can take out the blast furnace. So let us take it. Oh gosh, my stupid creeper. Yeah, I want to make some more uh, Christmassy things for this area. Probably get some candy canes poking around here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, some candy canes. I'm trying to figure out if I would get people a gift that I would place at their house, but I don't know what to make. What would I make for people's houses? Please help me out. Let me know what I should put around at people's houses. Just like a one block present item. <laughs> or if I should just make a, uh, a few patterns of presents and actually just leave them that. So they're just chiseling presents without anything inside of them. So I got you a present, nothing in it, but hey, it's a present. <laughs> oh, that sounds like me. I, 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 I'll probably do that if no one, act, uh, no one comments. So, all right, yeah, we're going to do a few more torches, but that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for this episode of Biffatech. Uh, leave a like, make sure you share it with other people. It lets me know that you want more of this content. For now, this is the Buka, signing out. <laughs>